What's up, everybody? It's August 12th, um, 2019, about 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. I just finished building seven sites, and I didn't use any automation at all. It took me about two and a half hours. That's including about 30 minutes searching for the URLs. Um, if I was just buying straight dot infos, uh, which I'm going to do next, um, it would have taken a lot less, um, you know, five minutes to get the URLs. So now I'm testing the all-in-one um, migration tool. I mean, I've used it uh, hundreds of hundreds of times. Um, it's just I want to use it with this newest version of City Page Pro. I had another user tell me they had some issues. So I want to see what the, what's, that's all about. So I figured I'd record it, and uh, you would also learn how to use it. So um, first thing you're going to do is when you – upload your WP migration and the extension, the extension one that, that costs money. And I, I bought a copy of it and I'm sure I can find an updated version, but you'll need to update it every time. Uh, so check for updates and then you'll click update now. Simple as that. What that's going to do is the FTP section to the all-in-one migration. So we'll go to the FTP settings and let me just explain briefly what this tool is this tool is once you have a site completely finished like I do here I've done a lot of things I've added different plugins phone numbers a bunch of stuff I've already done I've set everything up and I don't want to go through that again so I'm going to export a copy to my FTP so uh, if you're whatever hosting account you're using you should have an FTP user that's able to access that hosting and hosting is just basically a file saver uh, on your server on your hosting so this is going to export a full copy clone of the website you just finished so first you have to put your FTP settings in all right and you're going to enter your host name and you're going to enter your user and pass And normally I always put all my stuff in public underscore HTML. It doesn't matter because just make sure it's the same place every time so you know where to retrieve it. Because now I'm exporting it. I'm going to build another site. Okay, let me update this. I'm going to build another site. Um, and the only thing I'm going to do is install this plugin and set up the FTP settings so I can go retrieve this site. So let's export this site first. So I'm exporting this pest control site. All right. And if you're an insider and you're in the plugin, you'll see what the domain of this site is. So um, right now I'm not showing it, but um, I'll share with all of the um, people, the subscribers to City Page Pro, the list of all my sites. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not a subscriber to City Page Pro, subscribe and follow along. Watch me make bank with these sites. Um, I think really what's going to happen is that everyone's going to watch me build out a ton of sites and I'm going to have all the tracking available for everybody. Uh, everyone's going to see the amount of phone calls and money I make, but everyone's going to be three months behind. So um, it's those first people. I got one guy, one guy in the group um, who's already got nine sites up. So that's pretty awesome. That's what this is about. The, this Building your inventory is building your residual income base. Um, so this site is exporting, exported. Let's close it. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get another site up and we're going to import the, this website and you'll see. All right. Okay. So here's the site, the new site that I want to build. I simply uploaded the WP migration and in, in, in the extension and then check for updates. And we will update it. All right, now update now. All right, once that's updated, we're gonna go, I'm gonna click on this, it will expose the FTP settings. And I'm gonna put in the same exact stuff I put in last time, which is, update that, should go green, bang, bang. Now we're gonna import import from FTP. I'm going to pause this video because it's going to show a bunch of my sites and I'm going to put this on YouTube. And like I said, only the City Page Pro users will know what sites I'm actually building and follow along. 
All right, so now we're importing it. I chose the website that we exported the pest control one. I chose that one as the one to import. So I'll go ahead and click proceed. It's going to take, uh, depending, it could take 5, 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes a little bit uh, longer. Let's see, finish. Okay, so now it's changed over to the clone. And a real key thing to note here is whatever password to your original site, so that pest control site, whatever password I had to get into WordPress, it's going to share that same password. So if you're using this method, every one of your sites is going to have the same password. Uh, does that worry you or not? I mean, um, it's up to you. I mean, I think having 15 or 20 sites with all the same passwords is not a big deal if you've got 100 sites. But if you only have 15 sites, you have 15 different passwords. Um, okay, so I'm logging into this site. And here we are, and there it is. So the site is up, running. All the stuff I had in there was for pest control. So now I'm going to have to go back in there and change it. So the first thing I would do is go to my category, and I would change it. This is going to be actual a dentist site. So I would do dentist, and here I would do dental dentist DDS. Remember, you don't need to go crazy with this. I would change my picture. All right, uploaded my picture. All right, save that. Now I go to my city page and I edit this city page and where it says all this pest control stuff. This would all be swapped out for like emergency dentist, etc., etc. All right, so I've got those keywords in. I would probably do a few more if I'm doing this um, as I record. So <clears throat> just going to put a few in there. Co copy these as well. You'll need them. Um, okay, so we've got the keywords in, and this is the city page. So this is the, the H1 title, the map, then your business listings, and then underneath are going to be just some general keywords mm -hmm. just to help uh, place for more, more searches. So city name, I like to go with... Uh, emergency dentist and 24 hour dental office all right i've used this before whatever wow all right i saved that now i want to go to my um i want to copy these again now generally speaking if i put anything on the business details page it would be a different set of keywords but time sake and then here business name so it's going to be this this that and then I'm just going to say um, urgent dental care all right update all right some other things I'd have to change is um, my call now button was going to be my dentist phone number because it's not a home improvement service. And my stack counter, I'd have to put in the, the correct stack counter um, ID and secret code. When you add your URL to stack counter, it automatically detects that you have WordPress and it gives you these uh, project ID and security code that you need so you can track your stats. You can also use Google Analytics, uh, which is a plugin for that. And you you know, you know can do your um, uh, login through the plugin. So I like stack counter though. Um, the site pretty much is done. I've got to go now to the, the general settings right here and I need to change this. So this is going to be, um, emergency dentist and I need to get my, I don't know it off heart. I'm going to change it though. All right. And all right, we save the changes. Okay, once that's saved, um, we've got just a few things left to do. We've got to, like I said, change the phone number and the call now button. I'll have to retrieve my dentist phone number. Um, I'm gonna need to change my stack counter code, which is really easy to do. Um, I'm also gonna need to change the home page. So let's go and open. So these home page links are gonna, not gonna work. These are gonna be from the pest control site. So uh, what I need to do is click on the category and um, I've showed this in other videos how to do it. All right, highlight. Make sure I like to do it in Firefox because then you got view selection source. And then you just find this div class main uh, main list of cat. You start at that arrow and you go all the way to the div. All right, you copy that. 
And what you can do is plus new page. All right, it's got to say HTML. So if it doesn't say HTML, click the gearbox and sorry, click the three buttons next to the gearbox and check box to code editor. Now it says HTML. Before that, I'm just going to call this home page. Boom, pop that in there, publish it. All right, um, publish again. All right, so now I need to go to the appearance, customize. We need to choose this as the home page. And we're going to go to home page settings, static page, and I'm going to choose home page. Okay, it's going to be set on pest control directory because that's the one I'm cloning in. All right, and I'm going to publish that. And it's published. Close that. And then the site is pretty much done at this point. And I saved myself a ton of time using the um, WP all-in-one migration tool. I think that's it's really saved a lot of time. And everything should click through. I'm checking my meta titles up here. Dentist in Illinois. And this should be... To do now we got Addison, Illinois, emergency dentist 60101, 24 hour dental office. Awesome. And it's clicking all the way through, and I should have my keywords on the bottom, which I do. I've got some keywords on the bottom here, and that's awesome. And I'm on to the next site. And the way I would do it is I would line up five, six, seven, eight sites in a row and just batch process each step. Boom. And just knock these things out super fast. Don't get caught up in the details. These sites look really good. I've checked this already out in mobile. I really like the way they look, the way they convert, just, just everything's working really well. And the name of the game now is building a ton of these sites. Like you want to have at least 25 of these sites. Do the professional plan because to build 25 sites out, let's say you're, it's going to take you 25 hours, which it's not. If, if you spend time up front learning and asking me how to batch process and watch these videos, I'm showing you exactly how I'm doing it. I, I knocked out, this is number eight sites today. Um, and uh, once I start automating everything and using the, the WordPress uh, migration tool, um, I'm going to knock these 50 out by Friday. That's my goal. So there you have it. That's using the WP migration tool, how to export a completed site and then import that, that clone into the new site. Make your few changes onto the next site. All right. Thank you.